In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with the data that we have collected in SkyDrive. This workbook has a couple of sheets, and uh, let me go to sheet one here. And we have a list of books, and thank you for your contribution here. Um, we, so before we work on this, and let's kind of see what we have. So first of all, we have uh, names, and we have genre, title, um, author, publisher, the year of publication, what is recommended or not, and comments. So these are all good. And we are going to convert this range of cells into a table. And table in Excel means something specific. Basically, it means you're going to be using the data as some kind of a database table, and you get to use uh, uh, tools to analyze the data. Okay, so first we are going to download this into your desktop version of Excel because uh, even if you edit it in browser using web app, okay, so what here? Even we have this, but we have somewhat limited. So it's on the data tab and in the, on this ribbon, it's a re we have limited options here. So I want to either, uh, you can, if you have logged into Canvas, I'm sorry, uh, if you have logged into SkyDrive, uh, probably if you are using Windows 8, you, are all, you have already logged in, so you can just down, um, open it in Excel by clicking, by clicking on this, or if you haven't logged into SkyDrive, it's okay. You can go to click on the file, save as, and then click on download. And it's going to give me the option to open it in Excel. I will say click on OK. And it opens it in Excel. Okay, so again, I'm going to go to Sheet 1. And so let's take a look at what we have. So we have uh, names people and then we have a genre so for example if you click on it you can see the entire list of choices here and also we have titles that's good they're all text simple straightforward text names here and publisher and here we have something going on there's uh, inconsistency in terms of format um, for human being it's just fine, like uh, 1961, it's 1961, and then we have uh, October 31st, 2006, and so on. Let me make it a little bit wider here. Um, it's 2006, but for computer and Excel, this and that, they cannot mix. They are like a water and oil, so we're going to have to do something about that. Okay, and let's move on. And recommendation, yes, no, maybe. Okay, and then we have uh, comments. Uh, so let's go back to the year. Okay, so when I look at here, I see the column headings is not alphabets. It instead, is numbers, numeric. Okay, so that's not, I don't think it's, it, it doesn't really do uh, anything necessarily, but um, it it's better to change it back to the alphabets, so it's a little bit easier. Go to File, and this sort of things happen every once in a while. I'm going to go to Options, and when we deal with uh, databases and database tables from other applications, sometimes they lose some integrity, and so it changes the columns and rows, uh, headings, and things like that. So go to general, oh no, I think it's under formula, and then there, I see, that's R1, C1, that's row, number, column, number. Option is on, so I'm going to take that off, so that I'll have normal, quote unquote, column headings. All right, so I feel a little bit better, and now I, I look at this, um, for example, here is 1961. This is October 31st, 2006. So I'm going to have to clean it up. It's a fairly labor intensive. You can go each one and clean that up. 
and clean that up. So that's why um, data entry is important. So consistency of data entry is important because otherwise we have to clean it up all by hand, by yourself, by hand. Even, okay, so here's the deal. So even I cleaned it up, it turned into something else. All right, so what's going on? Well, I suspect it's something to do with data type. So for example, when you put uh, t name, title, and so on, these are all something called text. Text means that whatever you can type with your keyboard, including alphabets and number keys, they are considered as text. And then if you just put just numbers, and they are considered as a number data type, and then we have something else. It's a mixed with numbers, and this is something called date data type or time data type and so on. So this is different data type. So we have to do something about that. So I highlight it and then on the home tab and number group here and okay it's a custom because we we import it from SkyDrive so it is custom and then I'm going to change that to general okay so let Excel figure it out okay you can use number and change the decimal place to be zero you can do that but I'd rather let the Excel figure it out and then click on OK. So I selected uh, the general category and click on OK and boom, they got fixed. And this one, um, it is it doesn't really work very well even though I am going to lose some detail. I'm going to make it simpler. Okay, so I may lose it, some detail but that's better than not be able to use it at all and then basically same thing here clean it up and clean that up let me just go ahead and do this okay here's another one um, 1899 so I guess that's the year that the, oops 1899 that's the year that uh, what uh, important the importance of being honest yeah that's one of my favorite stories mr. honest needs to be honest okay so I clean it up oh so I still have to change the format uh, data type so okay now I'm gonna select this all and make sure that everything is number type general click on okay so I have a consistent format here and okay that, that took me a while so let's see we have recommended well I'm gonna just click on maybe because unclear okay maybe maybe so again whenever we deal with the data that is not from you oftentimes we have to do this fairly labor-intensive cleanup that we need to do okay now I think we are ready to go so I'm going to select the range of cells like that so basically click hold it down and drag it up to the other corner or if this is really big uh, sheet you can click on the far right uh, bottom right corner cell and then shift key and control key and press the home key so home key control home will take you to the the origin of the sheet which is 1a a1 cell uh, shift key allows you to select in between okay so there are many different you know uh, tricks to select and navigate through your uh, worksheets so I basically you select the uh, entire range of cells that in, that includes the data all right and now we are going to convert this into a table so on the home tab go to styles group and there's a format as table and choose whatever style that you like I'm gonna go with the green medium and I click on OK yes my table has my table has a headers so the header means uh, 
genre, title, author, and so on. So what do you see? Uh, what do you see? What changes here? First of all, we have a table tools design. So you can change the design and that sort of kind of things. And then we also see this this filter tool. So this little triangle drop down menu. So we could use that. And also you can click on and I think you should click on the data tab. So we have a lot more tools on the data tab, they on the data ribbon here. So let's start something simple. Let's say uh, for your discussion, you would come out a goal or objective about this uh, set of data. So what do you want to find out? Um, let's say I like fantasy novels and I want to see uh, a list of recommended fantasy novels that are that are written recently okay so that's kind of fairly refined goal to ex uh, kind of information that I want to extract out of this uh, data set so potentially you know we have about 30 some entries but it, we could have thousands of entries so um, that's where the data uh, the table tools come very handy. So let's see for my objective, which is finding a list of uh, fantasy, fantasy books that are uh, recommended fantasy books that are written uh, in recent years. So perhaps I could just start with the genre here and then this uh, filter tools and I can come down here and can click on select all. So this is like a toggle switch. Back and forth, back and forth. And I deselect it and then click on fantasy. And then click on OK. And boom, I filtered. See that little funnel? That's kind of cute. Anyway, we have I have just uh, a, a few fantasy books. In fact, uh, couple of them are mine. Anyway, so we have about five fantasy books and now uh, go f a step further. I want that is uh, written in recent years. So let's say a book's written um, let's say since nine, um, 2000. Okay, so new millennium. All right, so I go to the year and I go click on this filter button here. And man, I can manually select this. Yeah, I can do that. That's not a problem. But again, if we, when we deal with a huge data set, uh, thousands of entries and so on, that could take a, that could take a time. So, um, I would recommend using this uh, number filters and go to the right and greater than or equal to. So I'll click on greater than or equal to 2000. So if that was published in year 2000, yes, it'll be included. If it was published in 1999, then it would not be included. Or 2001, yes, it'll be included because it's greater than 2000. So click, click on OK. And then I narrow it down one step more. So within the fantasy books published uh, since 2000, year 2000. And then I'm going to go a step further here, recommended. I can just say yes, click on OK. I can do that. Or if I wanted to, just go back there, I can use this text filter and I can say equal to yes. And click on OK. Either way will uh, generate the same result. Uh, oftentimes using this text filter or number filter gives you more choices. Uh, it's not often, it always gives more choices, more control. Okay. 
And also, if you want to remove that filter, you can click on it, okay? And then click on uh, Clear Filter from Recommend, right? So you can take it back or take it back in, let's see, equal to yes. All right, so that's how you can work with large amount of data. So first, you come up with a goal, of an objective. What do you want to do? What do you want to find out? What information you are seeking? And then apply uh, filtering tools and sorting tools, and, um, and then you refine it one at a time. So you kind of have to start wide, like a uh, genre, and then the year, and then uh, uh, recommend it. So you kind of narrow it down to, uh, to pinpoint to where you need to be. Okay, that's the basic strategy. All right, so what is the widest? And then you narrow it down step by step. And so that's how you work with these tools. And um, if you want to go back to the original shape, you can always go to the data tab. On the data ribbon here, you can uh, clear. Okay, that takes off all the filterings. So you go back to the original shape. Or if you want to remove these uh, buttons, you can click on the filter tool and it takes away that uh, the drop down menu icons. But once you turn this into a table, it's table, it's a matter of just going back to the filter and you can get that all the options you need to use. Um, let's see. And that's basically it. So again, clean up the data, make it consistent in terms of formatting and so on, and then apply a table to the range of cells, and then apply uh, filtering to narrow it down and zoom in to see and to extract the information out of data. Okay, this is it. Thank you.